Hey City Light, John here with a quick Bible reading plan video. We've been going through 2 Corinthians and I want to highlight something here in chapter 5. So it says this starting in verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. So in here, I just want to highlight two things, this idea of ministry of reconciliation and what it means for us to be ambassadors of God. So when Paul's talking about the ministry of reconciliation, that's simply the message of the gospel, that through our faith in Christ, we've been reconciled to God and we are now in his family as adopted sons and daughters. Now this idea of being an ambassador, this is a term that we hear even uh, you know, in our modern context. So an ambassador would be an accredited diplomat who is sent by their country to be an official representative to another foreign country. So as an example, we might have a U.S. ambassador sent to France and they represent the interests of the United States. Now for us, we as uh, in God's family, as ambassadors for Christ, we are in this world but not of this world. So God has sent us as missionaries, as his missionary agency to those who are lost, who don't know him. So my question for you as we read through this passage is, what does this look like in your own life? What does it mean for you to be an ambassador for Christ, to be his representative right where you're at? If that's in your neighborhood, or if that's even in your own family or your workplace, what does that look like for you? So my challenge for you this week, maybe the next couple of days, is as you read through this, uh, just ask God that question. Lord, what would you have for me? What does it look like for me in my own life to be your representative to the lost world and the lost people that are around me? And so I pray that that would be a fruitful time for you, that God would reveal himself to you in new ways, uh, and that we would continue reading through the Bible and learn more about who the Lord is and what he has for us. Thanks, we'll see you later.